Hi guys, nice to have you back here in my channel. Uh, I just did a new video. I'm gonna talk to you about this. But before, I would like to thank you all for subscribing to my channel and liking my videos. It's very important uh, for me uh, when you subscribe and you like my videos because that will allow me to continue doing this. So if you're not a subscriber, uh, please do it uh, and get all the new videos from now on. So about this video is a request that many people have uh, asked me. It's um, how to groom your puppy for the first time. So I'll show in this video uh, what you should do, how you should behave with the dog on the table and um, give you quick explanation, explanations on how to groom your puppies. I think you'll like this one. Um, I was gonna do a short video, a 15 minute video, end up being a longer video, so I'm gonna divide that in two chapters. So this is the first, the first part, and then you get next week, you guys get the second part. Okay, thank you. And once more, please subscribe and like the channel. See you at the grooming room. Okay, here we are with this puppy and uh, he hasn't been groomed and it's, uh, it's already a little bit uh, later because he's, uh, he's older than 10 weeks. So um, uh, today is gonna be his, her first grooming uh, and I'm gonna show you how I groom a puppy and it's basically Basically the same way I, I groom uh, an adult dog and um, The only thing you have to be very patient you have you see like she's on the, the noose here But I'm supporting her head. Okay, you have to be calm uh, Have to make the dog comfortable on the table, you know um, and uh, She's been on the table before so she's somewhat table trained, but not groomed so if you guys see that she find a little bit strange pulling her hair it's because it hasn't been pulled before so and and the other thing is it's not that hurts sometimes sometimes feel strange for them that's why they they don't want you to do it it's like when you're a kid and your mom is brushing your hair and you don't like you don't want her to do it you know and sometimes it's a little bit matted and she tries to take the mats and you hate it but it doesn't it's not hurting you it's just something that you're not used to. Same with the dogs, okay? So I'll get the chalk here and I'll do it with my hands. I'll put, and I'll start the same way I start the adult dog here around the neck, okay? And then I start to pull, see? I'm gonna pull with my hand first, okay? So the only thing, the, diff, the main difference is that I'm gonna pull a short. I'm not concerned with layers now. Now I'm concerned to put the pu pull the puppy hair out, so to, for to allow for the dog to grow some adult hair, and the direction of pull is the same as you would on an adult dog as well. Okay, and that being talked a lot uh, in my videos, so you probably all know how to do it. If not, go to YouTube, check my videos, and you probably will see me talking about the direction of the pool and please like and subscribe my channel like my videos it will help me to continue helping you so as i go here in the neck you know as i get here the the where the hair the hair of the neck meets the hair of the front of the neck here then i'll put a little bit more here and i'll continue to pull i'll pull out okay be patient. And a good girl. Good girl. I'm pulling out here the one right in the ridge here that it makes between the two hair from the side and from the front. 
and don't stick to one place for too long because the puppy can get tired of you pulling there okay and here on the side you pull this way here as I've been taught many times but my my thing is to pull it short even if you make a little hole here and there don't worry a puppy like this never go to show at this age so that's not the most important thing the important thing is to groom it short as you get here in the front okay as you get here in the front i'm gonna turn here i hope the light is a lot yeah, stay the light is allowing you to see i'll put some chalk and then i pull down you know some dogs uh, don't like when you pull in the front some puppies don't like when you pull in the back you know it depends on the puppy you know she's handling this well so far good girl okay good girl i see her like the, the important thing is to keep her balance four feet balance on the table okay so she's not making any um move that make her too uncomfortable and then you continue to pull okay i'm gonna use my hand here so because i'm not concerned about layering now i don't care if i'm pulling more hair or less as long as it's comfortable for the dog i'm not i'm not pulling too much to hurt the dog you know like too much at once even if i grab more hair than normal that should be okay and as you can see i move around come to the side here stay 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 no stay stay hey, stay stay Stay. To the other side of the neck. Look. I'm just putting my hand around her head just to make her feel secure. I'm not pressuring her head or anything. Okay? Just put my hair. And I like to groom sometimes with my left hand as well train my left hand to pull some hair because sometimes it comes handy when you do that but you can also do this hold her here and pull with your right which most people do those things make no make no difference what will make the difference is what is easier for you and what you feel more comfortable with okay but direction of hair pull makes a difference okay how much hair or not you pull makes a difference but if you pull with the right hand or left hand you know if you turn around here a little bit i like to be i like to be look the dog like face the dog i don't like to to come from behind to, to, to do the neck even though when I have the mirror I will do that sometimes but I like to look straight where I'm grooming okay okay so okay here the ridge always remember always go back make sure the dog is um, standing comfortably not stretching too much okay all right, so I go here. You see in the front, I'm pulling down. As I get to the reach here, I pull out. Stay. And as I get to the side, I pull in a diagonal. So. This is a short video, just some people ask me about grooming puppies, so doing a short video here. And I'm gonna show how short I'm gonna go here. Come 
happening well behind the ear here. So then you get to the shoulder area here, you're gonna go short as well, okay? Obviously in a pup you're going short everywhere. At this point of grooming a Westie at this age, you're very little concerned about shape, about layers, other than you're concerned about taking this puppy hair to allow for the growth of, uh, of harsher hair, okay? So, at this age, you start to have an an idea if the dog is gonna have a, a harsh hair sometimes at this point they have some soft hair some puppies can be quite soft but you you can see after the first uh, two weeks after the first grooming some harsh hair coming up and then you continue if you groom a puppy like this for a month or so and you don't see any harsh hair coming up it, then there's a chance that that puppy might not have good hair as far as the West is concerned okay so then it, you have to debate yourself it's worth keeping you know it's worth pulling a hair that's not going harsh okay so then I go up here too by the head and I pull down Here the top, I pull straight back. Stay, 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 stay. Stay. No, no. Oh, when the puppy is getting too out of hand or making moving too much, you just grab under the neck, firm here, okay, just so you have a good, a good grip. You grab underneath the bum here and you pretend you're pulling him out. Oh, oh, the table. Oh, 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 stay. Then you just say stay. Set the pup up and the pup will stay.